Hello friends, we are going to continue with Shear Capital. Right? And in Shear Capital, we discussed about issue of shares. Right? I told you issue of shares can be for cash or for consideration other than cash clear then if the issue of shares is in cash then we discuss that it can be in lump sum or it can be in installments right in lump sum, the whole of money is received at the time of application. And in installments, some money is received at the time of application, some at the time of allotment. Then as and when we call, we call it as first call, second call, like that. Clear? Then in the last lecture, we discussed that if we are issuing the shares in cash, it can be at par or at premium, right? At par means you issue the shares at face value. And at premium means you are issuing the shares at more than face value clear that means if you are issuing 1 lakh shares of rupees 10 each rupees 10 is the face value if you issue at par that means you are issuing at rupees 10 only at premium means you are issuing at more than rupees 10 it may be rupees 12 13 14 15 anything right so this is issue of shares at premium and how to treat this premium? Any premium received will be transferred to a separate account known as securities premium reserve account. Clear? Why this is being transferred to a separate account? Because this securities premium is not free to be used for the routine operations of the business, right? This premium received on issue of shares, which is being transferred to the securities premium reserve account is not free to be used for the routine operations of business. Who says this? It is governed by company act 2013. It is being governed by company act 2013. Clear? So this premium, we discussed the disclosure in balance sheet. In balance sheet, this premium, securities premium reserve is shown under reserves and surplus. And in the share capital, we only take face value. Clear? The securities premium reserve forms the part of reserves and surplus in the balance sheet. Clear friends? Now, now we are going to start with a very important topic. It is one of the most important technical topics of share capital. It is quite easy. Don't worry about it. That is oversubscription Sorry. This is over over subscription of shares. Right? Now you know what is our issued capital. Issued capital is the amount that the company 
wants to raise by the issue of shares so company says we want to issue 50000 shares of rupees 10 each right at par in lump sum so company says we want to raise 5 lakh rupees for that we are issuing 50000 shares of rupees 10 each at par in lump sum that is the whole amount is being called at the time of application so what is the journal entry bank account debit to share application account 50000 and 50000 clear then at the time of allotment what is the journal entry share application account debit to share capital account how much 50000 right this is what we have done so far a company wants to raise company uh, sorry money through the issue of shares and we say we want to issue 50000 shares of rupees 10 each at par in lump sum that is our issued capital right if this is lump sum that means the whole amount is being called at the time of application journal entry is bank to share application share application to share capital clear now company issued 50000 shares company says that we want to issue 50000 shares but for that the company ask for applications company received applications and along with applications they will be receiving the application money and application money for 70000 shares right company wants to issue 50000 shares but company received applications for 70000 shares along with applications they will be receiving the application money also right now can you tell me how much application money the company has received company received applications for 70000 shares bank account debit to share application account how much money they have received in applications they received applications for 70000 shares at the rate of rupees 10 each that means they have received application money of 7 lakh rupees right this is called over subscription of shares when the people subscribe to your shares more than what you have issued clear people subscribe to the shares more than what you have issued you have received applications for more shares than issued that is called over subscription of shares now how to deal with this over subscription you you have received application money you need only 5 lakh rupees sorry here it is 5 lakh so you need only 5 lakh rupees but how much you have received you have received 7 lakh rupees now what you will do with with the additional uh, 2 lakh what you are going to do with the additional 2 lakh you require 5 lakh you receive 7 lakh what will you do with the additional 2 lakh you can't keep it in your pocket right 
because you have to issue the shares issue the receipts against the money you have only 50000 receipts you have received money for 70000 how will you issue the shares seven uh, receipts of 70000 right so there are basically three methods of dealing with it the excess application money that we have received in case of oversubscription there are three methods to deal with this we'll go one by one i won't tell you all the three methods right now i will just we'll just discuss the first method right now what is the first method first method is rejecting applications in excess of issued shares right it means you issued shares 50,000 and you received applications for 70,000 shares. Now he says to the extent of 50,000 except all the applications and the remaining 20,000 applications reject them. Says to the extent of 50,000 accept all applications and applications in excess of 50,000 how many applications are in excess of 50,000 that is 20,000 should be rejected now can you tell me the journal entry for this you received applications for 70,000 shares you received in bank 7 lakh rupees right but you can transfer this money to the capital account only to the extent of 50,000 because that is your issued capital subscribed capital should be equal to or less than issued capital right what you are going to do with the remaining 2 lakh that is 20,000 shares that we are going to reject what you are going to do with that you have received application money on the 20,000 shares that you are going to reject you received applications you received application money now you have the application money with you on the 20,000 shares that we are going to reject. What you are going to do with this? Application money received on these 20,000 shares will be returned back. Right? Application money received on rejected shares in this case 20,000 should be refunded now what is the journal entry for refund when you receive application money the entry is bank to share application when you have to refund that application money the journal entry will be simply share application reverse of it account debit to bank account how much 20,000 shares at the rate of 10 each 2 lakh clear friends so this is the first method of dealing with oversubscription of shares. You issued 50,000 shares, you received applications and along with the applications, you must have received the application money also. 
So you received application and application money for 70,000 shares that is in excess of what you have issued. You want 5 lakh, right? People are giving you 7 lakh. You can't keep that 7 lakh in your pocket. You need only 5 lakh. You will keep only 5 lakh. The first method says return that 2 lakh rupees to the people. Reject the applications and on those rejected applications, whatever money you have received, pay back to the people from you whom you have received that money. Clear? So the application money received on rejected shares 20,000 should be refunded. This is the first method of dealing with oversubscription of shares. That is people subscribe to more number of shares than what you have issued. Clear friends? So we have two more methods of dealing with this that we are going to discuss in the further lectures, right? So if you have any queries, friends, just send me an email at ksj teaching at the rate of gmail.com, right? In the next lecture, we are going to do method 2 that is pro rata allotment right method 1 we have discussed this is all about method 1 very simple we just refund the money right in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the method 2 that is pro rata allotment so that's all for this lecture friends thank you so much